EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. The last set of videos discussed the real fluid property models that are programmed into EASE. These property models are valid all the way from compressed liquid through the two-phase region into the superheated region and then beyond into the supercritical states. However, it's often the case that the properties of a fluid can be adequately modeled using the ideal gas model over the range of conditions involved in the problem. The behavior of a gas approaches the ideal gas model as its specific volume increases, which occurs at low pressure and high temperature. The ideal gas model is computationally simple and therefore it provides property information with little computational effort. Now, there are many fluids and ease that can be modeled either as an ideal gas or as a real fluid. And the correct choice depends on the degree of accuracy that's required as well as the conditions in the problem. An ideal gas is defined as a fluid that obeys the ideal gas equation of state, which is given here on a molar basis. Uh, P here is absolute pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles of gas, uh, R universal is the universal gas constant, which does not depend on the type of gas, and T is absolute temperature. The value of the universal gas constant is provided in ease uh, in whatever unit system you specified uh, using the constant R hashtag. The ideal gas law can also be expressed on a mass basis according to this equation where M is the mass of the gas and R is the ideal gas constant expressed on a mass basis which is just the ratio of the universal gas constant to the molar mass. The specific volume of the gas can be defined on either a molar or a mass basis just by dividing the volume by the number of moles or the mass respectively. It's possible to prove that a fluid that obeys this ideal gas law must also have a specific internal energy and a specific enthalpy that is only a function of temperature and therefore the um, CV and CP values must also be only a function of temperature. The ideal gas property data are implemented in two groups referred to as the built-in ideal gases and the NASA ideal gases. Now, the names of the built-in ideal gases are listed here and you can also browse these ideal gas fluids by selecting thermal physical properties in the function information dialog and then selecting the ideal gases radio button. Uh, you can see that another radio button will let you look at some of the NASA ideal gases which are discussed in a subsequent video. Uh, the source of the property information for any of these gases can be found by selecting uh, fluid information. Note that some substances are represented in ease both as a real fluid and as an ideal gas. So for example Ease recognizes the fluid names N2, H2O, and HE, as well as the fluid names nitrogen, water, and helium. And the convention used in Ease is that a substance will be modeled as an ideal gas if its fluid name is the chemical name. So, for example, N2, H2O, and HE. The exception to this rule is the fluid air which is modeled as an ideal gas, whereas air underscore HA is modeled as a real fluid. All the property functions discussed previously for real fluids and shown in this table can also be used with the built-in ideal gases. Some of the property functions are not needed for ideal gases, but they will still work properly. So for example, the compressibility factor of an ideal gas is always unity at any state, and its fugacity will always be equal to its pressure. Additional ideal gas property information can be added to ease as explained in section 4.10 of Mastering Ease. The use of an ideal gas fluid sometimes does affect the number of properties that are required to fix the state and therefore the number of arguments that the property functions will accept. So this ease code determines the specific enthalpy of nitrogen at 300 Kelvin and uh, 100 kilopascals using the real gas fluid nitrogen. And if we solve, you can see that uh, the specific enthalpy is 311.19 kilojoules per kilogram. Now, if we attempt to determine the specific enthalpy of nitrogen at the same state, so 300 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals, but now using the ideal gas fluid N2, um, what you're going to see is that if we use the same two property indicators to fix the state, T and P, you're going to receive this error message. And that's because... N2 is being modeled as an ideal gas and therefore the specific enthalpy 
as well as the specific internal energy, can only be a function of temperature. And therefore, the functions enthalpy, uh, int energy, CP, and CV in ease are only going to accept temperature or combinations of other properties from which temperature can be determined uh, in addition to the fluid name. Therefore, the specific enthalpy should be determined here according to uh, this equation, which uses only one indicator, T, and gives it only one property, temperature. And this leads to um, the enthalpy of 1.92 kilojoules per kilogram. You should notice that there's a large difference between the enthalpy uh, predicted using the fluid nitrogen and the enthalpy predicted using the fluid N2. And this difference is due to the fact that the reference states used for these two fluids, nitrogen and N2, are very different. The reference state for the specific enthalpy of all ideal gases, except air, is selected such that the stable elements from which the gas is formed have a specific enthalpy of zero at 25 degrees Celsius. This reference state choice makes it really convenient to use ideal gas property information when you're doing energy calculations that involve chemical reactions, and that will also be discussed uh, in a subsequent video. So this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the uh, Ease software. If you want to get more information about Ease, uh, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchart.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FChart website.